Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Taharia and we've got Lucy. But don't just sit there, puppets. Come on, let's have some fun. <laughs> There's my wee lady all ready to be glued. Let's get these skaters skating! Clever girl! Okay, put your magnet underneath. Wow! Is that not so exciting? <laughs> well, we've got Taharia and we've got Lucy. But someone's missing from home today. Oh! Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Money? Oh, it's Kai with Bobby. <laughs> Bobby. Hi, Laurie. And Kai, my pickle. You have a wee. That's a good boy. <laughs> You've missed the ice skating sausage, but never mind. You can have a wee shot later on. <laughs> oh, that reminds me, Granny Murray. Kai really wants to watch the ice skating on telly later, don't you, Kai? Oh, do you like ice skating? Wow! Listen, darlings, why don't you dress Claude up as an ice skater? Hey, and maybe we could skate off over there. Oh! Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so, what time does the ice skating start then? Eight o'clock. Oh, right, I must try and remember that. Eight o'clock, eight o'clock. No need to remember, Granny Murray. Here. Oh, an alarm clock. Clever girl. It's all set to go off when the ice skating starts. Oh, great. <laughs> Nothing's impossible when you know how. There. Brilliant. Now, what time did you say the ice skating started? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. There we are. All sorted. Now, Kai won't miss the ice skating. Normal Claude. <laughs> oh, wow. It looks like you're all ready to slide off across the ice, Claude. <laughs> Give Mum a wee kiss goodbye, darling. What's this? Oh, it's Kai's favourite toy car, but it doesn't work anymore, does it, Kai? Oh, no, what a shame. I tell you what, I'm going to take this to work with me and I'll see if I can fix it for you. Hey, give us a kiss. Bye-bye. See you in the morning. Bye. <laughs> Come on. Nothing is impossible when you know how. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. I'll be thinking of you. Me too. Now, you keep an eye on Bobby and make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views I'm stepping along, I'm swinging my arms I'm singing my way through the city's charms Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my walk in time Okay, which way? Do I go left now or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Right! Okay, that way. To the bus depot. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Oh, hello, digger. Hello, drain. Oh, hello, lamppost. Hello, train. Hello, post box. Oh, hello, plane. She's on her way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hey! Do I go up now or do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Ah! Okay, that way, up the steps. You told me the way I go. Thank you. You showed me the way. for that. Right, what's first? That's right, I need to put on my work clothes. All dressed and ready to go. Oh, oh look at that 
big patch of oil. Well, I'd better get that cleaned up before I start to clean me buses. Hi, Bobby! Oh, Mickey J! Just thought I'd slip round. <laughs> so, what's up? Well, I nearly was up in the air with that patch of oil. But actually, I came to ask you if you wanted to buy a Spanaman keyring. Oh, wow! They look great! But why are you selling them? To raise money for the school photography club's trip abroad. Oh, right. Well, they are so cool. Kai would love one of them. How much are they? One pound. Bargain. Right, come with me and I'll get you some money. <gasps> there you go. Thanks, Bobby. Um, Mickey J, I've heard that you're really, really good at mending things. Well, you know, not bad. Would you ever go at fixing Kai's favourite toy car for me? Well, I start to clean up that patch of oil. Sure. Well, I, I give it a go anyway. Thank you. You're my hero. <sighs> sprinkle, sprinkle, little star. <laughs> well, that should soak up the oil. I'll come and sweep it up later. So, um, have you managed to fix Kai's toy car? Uh, well, not quite. Sorry, Bobby. I have to get home. I have to get the uh, lessons ready for tomorrow. But uh, good luck with the uh, car. Bye. Bye. Kai's car's in pieces. Mind you, it's eight o'clock, so I guess you're watching the ice skating on the telly now, Kai. I love to skip in river sea thing, river sea thing, go by the sea. I love to skip in river sea thing, river sea thing, go by the sea. I love to skip in river sea thing, river sea thing, go that's for me. Skaters are fantastic, aren't they, Kai? Would you like a wee shot of skating up and down Granny Murray's floor? Oh, brilliant! Give us a twirl! Give us a twirl! Whee! Oh, ten! <laughs> Top score! Well done, my angel. You'll have to show Mum some of those moves. I'm thinking of you, Mummy. I will fix your car, Kai, if it is the last thing I do. But there are buses to clean first. Whoa! Oh. May I have the next dance? <laughs> Hello, Raymundo. What are you up to? I'm raising money for Mickey John's school. Would you like to buy a Spanner Man? Oh, no, I just bought one of them off Mickey John. They're all different. Each one is unique. Oh. Okay, Raymundo, I will buy one off you soon as I've cleaned up this patch of leaky oil. I don't know where it keeps coming from. Oil be glad to wait. There you go. Right, come on. There you go. Thank you, Raymond. My pleasure. See ya. See ya. Right, time to get on with some work. Bobby Boogie Woogies as she cleans and mops the buses. Sponging with a squeegee, sweeping rubbish with her brushes. Shining up the headlamps for the night time show. Bright and beaming buses, bye bye soon. Cleaning while you're dreaming, making ready while you're in. Gleaming while you're sleeping, dawn by dawn. Lining up all shining, they'll be leaving for the day ahead. Ready to dazzle the day away, swinging to the city looking pretty and radiant. The hot caps gleam, the paintwork shines. A river sea double decker looks so fine. The driver she drives, collecting the fares. Leaving then arriving, she will get you there. This boss is stopping from picking up and putting down. This boss is shining, it's the talk of the town. And Bobby Boogie Woogie's flipping over, flipping under. Running around and scrubbing up, she really is a wonder. Sticking up the posters as she wobbles on her toes. Bobby walks the moonwalk as she robs and wipes the windows Dusting through the starlight, adding sparkle as she goes Polishing the buses So they'll all be gleaming for the day ahead oh, This oil is a right nuisance There, now I can get back to cleaning my buses <laughs> Oh, 
in some oil. I know. I'm sorry about that, Tina. I keep cleaning it up and it keeps coming back. Huh. Ugh, not to worry. Now, I'm helping to raise money for the school funds. Oh, not you too. Me too. <laughs> well, I've already bought two spanner men. Oh, no, I'm not selling them. I just want to put up this poster to advertise them in one of the buses. Oh, sure. Yeah, well, that'd be fine. And while you do that, I'll clean up this patch of oil again. <laughs> oh, that's a perfect spot. <laughs> Everyone will see it there, and hopefully we'll sell out of the spanner men. <laughs> Thanks very much for that, Bobby. <laughs> Bye, Tina. <sighs> oh, I think Kai's gonna love those spanner men. Thanks, my darling. Look, they're pulled together by magnets. No, it's like magic. You hold the skater, and I'll hold the board. Ready? Put it on. That's us. Now you hold underneath. And can you make her dance? Ooh, wow! Lovely moves. Whee, up she goes. Oh, she did a twirl. Fabulous. I bet your mum wishes she could go ice skating with us. What are you doing now, mummy? I really want to mend your car, but I suppose I'd better leave it for a while and try again later. Better clean up the rest of that oily sand first. Oh, more oil. I don't believe it. Where is it coming from? Oh, do you know, all I want to do is fix Kai's car, clean my buses and have a quiet life. But all this leaky oil keeps getting in my way. Oh, what is going wrong? Where did the time go? At six o'clock, I dropped off Kai at Granny Murray's. The children dressed up Claude as an ice skater. I told Granny Murray that Kai wanted to watch the ice skating on telly this evening. At seven o'clock, I got to work. Mickey John popped in and slipped over on some oil on the depot floor. He was selling some special spanner men to raise money for the school. They were brilliant and made with odd bits and pieces. I bought one and asked Mickey John to mend Kai's car while I cleaned up the oil. At eight o'clock, Mickey John rushed off, leaving Kai's car in pieces. At nine o'clock, I slipped on another patch of oil on the floor. Raymond caught me and asked me to dance. He was selling spanner men too, so I bought another one. At ten o'clock, I slipped on more oil. So did Tina. It was like we were ice skating. Tina put up a poster in the bus to advertise the spanner men and I started to clean up the oil again. At 11 o'clock, I tried to mend Kai's car, but I didn't get far. And when I tried to clean the buses again, I saw more oil on the floor. Where was it coming from? And how can I stop it? Now remember, nothing is impossible when you know how. Nothing is impossible when you know how. Hmm... Hang on. What's this? An oil trail. And it's leading all the way to... <gasps> the bus! <gasps> this oil must be coming from this leaky bus. Right, well, it must need a service. OK, I need to bring a mechanic. Well, that's not impossible. And I know how. Come on, it's a race against time! I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. I like a busy bee. I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done. Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? It's a show. There, a nice clean floor and no more leaking oil, thank goodness. And guess what? I managed to fix Kai's toy using the spanner men. <laughs> wow! Look at it go. I'm thinking. 
thinking of you, Mummy. Your mum's here, Kai. Hiya, Kai. Oh, <laughs> you look like you've had a smashing time. Oh, we sure have. Are you going to say thanks to Granny Murray? Thanks. Clever boy. <laughs> and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Nothing's impossible when you know how. It saved the day. It never did. <laughs> Come on. You'd better be off. Looking forward to next time. Me too. Right, come on, Twinkle. Let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, waking, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, jumping up and turning. was really special about today. Well, the children dressed up Claude as an ice skater. Bobby told me that Kai wanted to watch the ice skating on telly later and gave me an alarm clock to remind me when to switch the telly on. Kai gave his mum his favourite car to look after, but it was broken. At eight o'clock, the alarm rang and we switched on the telly. Kai loved the ice skating and tried to skate in his socks. <laughs> he was brilliant. Later, me and Kai played an ice skating game. He fell asleep and I think he was dreaming of going skating with Bobby. In the morning, Bobby had mended his favourite toy car. Do you like fixing things? Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home to who's here today? Well, we've got Molly and we've got Ellie. But don't just sit there, my wee bricks. Come on, let's get busy. What's in Granny Murray's house today? Hey, Ellie, can you hold it, darling? No. We are going to make a toy train. Here we are, that's us. Good string here, nice bow. Now, girls, can you take my toy train for a ride? Choo choo! <laughs> oh my! Well, we've got Ellie and we've got Molly, but someone's missing from home today. <laughs> oh, not anymore! Who's coming home to Granny Money? Who's that? Oh, it's Raymond with Lisa. Hello there! Raymond! Hiya, Granny Money. Oh, and Lisa! Oh, so it's a bit dangerous leaving this long train of toys on the floor, Granny Murray. Health and safety, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, a royal train? That's given me an idea. Why don't you dress Claude up as a different sort of train? A royal train fit for a king. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and uh, we'll get out from under their feet, Raymond. Would you care to hop aboard the Granny Murray Express? I don't mind if I do. Choo choo! <laughs> oh, what the? Oh, no probs, just a toy. Oh, Granny Murray, you really should be more careful about leaving toys lying everywhere. Fuzz point? No. Health and safety. Toys can be hazardous. You can trip over toys if they're left on the floor. You should tidy things up as you go along, like I do. Well, that might work very well aboard your train, Raymond. But with a busy house full of children, <laughs> sometimes you need to clean up after others. Mm. Ooh, and Claude looks like a bit of a hazard too in that long train. Oh, I was a wonderful hazard in my wedding day. I had a huge long train, twice as long as Claude's, all white lace and satin. <laughs> oh, it must have been quite a job to wear that. Oh, well, it was for my wee bridesmaids. They had to hold it above their heads. And one was so exhausted, she curled up <laughs> right in the middle of my train and fell fast asleep. Oh, <laughs> well, you'd never find me asleep aboard my train. <laughs> oh, no. Health and safety. Exactly. <laughs> and also, it just wouldn't look good. Well, talking of looking good, look at King Claude. <laughs> 
Oh, my! Don't you look at Peter in your royal train? Daddy, <laughs> here you go. Oh, thanks, Lise. Oh, <laughs> it's a pullback car. How cool. Oh, well, that's got him excited, Lisa. Come on, off to work with you. <laughs> right, must go. <laughs> Now remember, sometimes you need to clear up after others. Thanks, Granny Murray. You guys have a fun day. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. <laughs> Will you keep a wee eye on Raymond and make sure he goes the right way to work? I'm a bit late for work today. Can you tell me a quick way to get there? Thanks. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I take a ticket, a ticket on the metro. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry on the train lines. Clatter, clatter, clatter at the point. Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up. Squeaking, squeaking, squeaking slows us down. Clatter, clatter, clatter through the streets. Now squeaking, squeaking to our stop. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I really, really need to get to work. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, we're here. But before I can get down to some work, I have to change. So, busy, busy, busy. Ha! All dressed and ready to go. Oh, eight o'clock. On the dot. Excellent. Hello, Raymond. Oh, didn't know you was working on the Molly Moore train today. Oh, yes, I just go what I'm told. So, are you off to see your mum? Yeah, I said I'd give her a hand spring cleaning her house today. Mm. That's what this is for, see? Oh, it's this fab new cleaning fluid that we're using at the buses right now. It's brilliant, and it'll make cleaning the house twice as fast. Would you like a bottle? I've got plenty left for mum. Me? No, I have my very own special cleaning liquid that I use on the train. In fact, this is much better than anything you can buy in the shops. Look, one squirt of this, and the stains and dirt are history. <laughs> See? Wow! Mm. Mm, that is very good. But my cleaning fluid is hygienic too. It cuts through grease and oil. Grease and oil? <laughs> I can honestly say that I have never had a problem with grease or oil in my buffet car. Well, I'll leave you a bottle anyway, just in case. You never know when it might come in handy. Catch you later. Handy? I very much doubt it. <laughs> Grease and oil indeed. On my buffy car. Now, Lise, let's see how fast your car can go in this new shiny track. Oh! <laughs> I hope you're having as much fun as me at Granny Murray's, Lisa. <laughs> I love to skip in River Sea Thing, go River Sea Thing, go by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Thing, go River Sea Thing. Well done, my darling. Good job. There we are. Oh, could you water the plants now, my angel? Thank you. There we are. Oh, Lisa, we'd better put that rake away in case somebody trips over it, eh, my darling? Thank you. Oh, your daddy would be very proud of you. <laughs> Keeping Granny Murray's garden nice and tidy and safe. Dead to you. Oh, oh! <laughs> you nearly had an accident there, Raymond. Thanks to you, I didn't, Dr. Juno. Can I have a cup of coffee, please, Raymond? Certainly. Oh, I hope this coffee perks me up for my conference on office management. As if I haven't got enough to do helping people get better back at the hospital. Office management is key to the smooth running of any business, Dr. Juno. Oh, really? <laughs> Quite. That's £1.50, please. Okay. Thank you. I think I manage my office quite well, to be honest. Ooh, I've got some pretty neat gadgets. Gadgets? Yeah. I've got an electric stapler. Oh, how cool is that? Oh, almost as cool as this. Oh, an electric hole punch. Oh, efficient and safe too. Yes, safe too. Well, thanks for the coffee. I've got to get off the next stop. <laughs> See ya. And it's high time I got on with some hard work. I love my train. I'm so happy. 
happy being me Doing all the things I love to do Chocolate, lemonade or tea I'm just very happy serving you Oh, I talk, talk, talk all day Making special moments on my way I'll tell a joke and toast some cheese on toast Oh, I walk, walk, walk all day Bringing smiles and happiness my way Being nice is what I love the most Six years time, I'm looking fine Six years time, I'm ready on time I get rolling from behind Don't go one by one in line I'm so happy being me Meeting all the people on the train Can I help you clear your things? If there is a problem, I'll explain Oh, I talk, talk, talk all day Wheeling trolleys weaving to this way I'll do a trick and make the journey quick Oh, I walk, walk, walk each way Loving all the things I do each day Bringing smiles and happiness my way I love my train Oh, <laughs> sorry Mickey John What can I get for you today? Oh, nothing, thanks, Raymond. Uh, Bobby told me you were working today, so I thought I'd pop by and show you this. Oh, that's a fantastic model steam engine, Mickey John. Uh, does it work? Like a dream. So, uh, do you fancy trying it out before I leave it at my friend's house in Helen's Brit? You bet. Uh, why don't we give it a run all the way along the floor? Yes, great. Right, I'll fire her up. You go down there and catch it when it comes over. OK. <laughs> right, just oil up the wheels before we let her go. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. Oh, it's a shame Lisa isn't here to see it. She would love it. I'd love to skip in Rivers Inn. Rivers Inn, go by you see. I'd love to skip in Rivers Inn. Go Rivers Inn, go that's for me. Can you put that cushion up there? Finish off Granny Murray's racetrack. Well done. Oh, it's exciting. Right. Pull it right back. Get nice and straight. Go. Oh! Oh, no! We both crashed. That's a girl. OK. That was a big crash. You keep it nice and straight. Pull your marks. Get set. Go! Oh! <laughs> hey! Well done, Lisa. Daddy. Oh, oh, Dr. Juno, are you okay? Yes, thankfully. Oh, I certainly feel a lot safer if you were a little bit more efficient keeping the rest of your buffet cart as clean as your counter, Raymond. But, Dr. Juno, I, I don't understand. I've been working hard all day, serving my customers, stacking my shelves, and making sure everything is clean, tidy, and safe. But Dr. Juno nearly did a loop-de-loop. -loop. What did I do wrong? Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped off Lisa at Granny Murray's, and I nearly took a tumble when I tripped over a long train of toys. At eight o'clock, I arrived at work and met with Bobby, who tried to convince me her cleaning fluid was better than mine at shifting grease and oil. <laughs> Imagine, in my buffet car. At 11 o'clock, Dr. Juno popped by for coffee and showed me some of her gadgets that helped her run an efficient office. Oh, they were great fun. At one o'clock, Mickey John brought his model steam engine to show me. We let it run along the floor in the boofy car. <laughs> it was brilliant fun. At three o'clock, Dr. Juno slept as she rushed to leave the train. She said it was my fault, but how could that be? Now remember, sometimes you need to clear up after others. Sometimes you have to clean up after others. Of course. The floor must have been covered in oil from Mickey John's model steam engine. I should have cleared up after Mickey John. The only thing that will shift that grease and oil is Bobby's cleaning fluid. So it's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song Do we think he's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done Will he know how to fix 
the clock before the chime I've got to sort it He's gonna start it I've got to do the job on time Like a busy bee I'm going to beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song You know, Bobbing's right Her cleaning fluids save bags of time In fact, I think I've even got time for a nice cup of tea before we have to set back to River Sea Fingal Oops Oh no, what was that? Ah your coffee took a tumble, did it? <laughs> Not to worry. I'll have this cleaned up in a jiffy. Ooh. There you are now. <laughs> and I'll just pop over and get you a fresh coffee. <laughs> Perfect. I wonder if my wee scamp is helping Granny Murray keep her house clean. <laughs> or making a mess. <laughs> Oh, Lisa, look at your chin. Look at this chin. Oh, me too. Oh dear, what would Daddy say? <laughs> That's better. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, thanks, Lisa. I miss you, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy's here. Hello, Daddy. Hello, my girl. <laughs> Have you had a good day with Granny Murray? Yes. Oh, we certainly did, didn't we, darling? What do you say to Granny Murray? Thank you. Oh, oh it's a pleasure. <laughs> and it's a big thank you to you from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Sometimes you have to clean up after others. It saved the day. Oh, bless you. <laughs> Come on, let's get you home. <laughs> Bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Lisa. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was hugging, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shading, choosing, talking, cooking, grinding, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things, and rushing round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special? special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a king today with a long royal train. Claude's train reminded me of the beautiful train I had worn with my wedding dress. Raymond didn't seem too interested. He was more worried about tripping and sitting on toys and making things safe. Later on, Lisa and I tidied up the garden. Raymond would have approved of Lisa and I putting away the tools safely when we'd finished with them. We had lots of time left to have fun with our model racing cars. They certainly zipped along quickly. Raymond was having fun too, watching Mickey John's steam engine running along the floor of his boofy car. It was lucky too that he remembered in the end that sometimes you need to clear up after others. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Stephen and we've got Megan. But don't just sit there, my wee fruit scones. Come on, let's get busy. <gasps> what can you find, Stephen? Oh, is it heavy, Stephen? Yeah. Let's see. Granny Murray's had this for a long time and it's got secret treasures inside. Oh, what can you see? Oh, do you like these beads? Yes. That was Granny Murray's dad's watch. Well, we've got Stephen and we've got Megan, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, yes, it's Samson with Dr. Juno. Hello there! <laughs> Dr. Gino! Hello and Samson! Come on, boy! Get bored! Come on! Come and see Granny! <gasps> come and say hello to Samson, everyone! Oh, Samson, look who's come to say hello! hello. Oh, gentle now, my darling! Oh, we don't want to get him overexcited, do we? Or pat him into the ground! <laughs> 
He loves coming here. And we love having him. Well, how about we stop the pat and we dress up Claude? Eat your basket, Samson. Good boy. Oh, he'll get a good view from there while we dress Claude up in all his precious finery. <laughs> On you go, my puppets. Dr. Juno, there you are. We can go to our chairs and our fancy jewels. Ooh. <laughs> oh. I love everything that looks glittery and precious. <laughs> I love it all. This necklace is gorgeous. Is it very valuable? Well, I don't know about that, but I'll tell you this. It's been in my family for hundreds of years. Oh, gosh, really? Well, I'd really rather not wear it if it means that much to you. Oh, oh. oh my goodness, a hundred years. Oh, hell. It doesn't matter, my dad, and it's fine. Don't oh. you worry. What's broken can always be mended. I'll just gather up the beads and restring them later. Well, if you're missing a bead or two, I know my lovely Samson will help you find them. You can sniff out anything from anywhere. <laughs> oh, will you take a sniff at this? I think we're in the presence of royalty. Ooh. Oh, wow, Claude, I am dazzled by your bling. You look like a million dollars. Well done, everyone. Oh, wait a minute. One million and one dollars. <laughs> oh, thank you. This will remind me of my own little shining star set. Oh, It'll add a wee bit of sparkle to your day. Bye-bye, no. <laughs> everyone. Bye-bye. <coughs> now remember, what's broken can always be mended. Thank you, Granny Murray. See you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. <laughs> Will you keep a wee eye on Dr. Juno? Make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to where today Cycling through all the city views Ringing my bell and singing my song Pedaling my way as I cycle along Getting there is just so fine So we Enjoy my cycling time I always go the way I know Can you show me the way I go? Hey! Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Hey! Okay, left to the hospital I'm on my way to work today Looking this way and that away. Hello, policeman. Hello, boss. <laughs> Hello, postman. Hello, shops. Hello, lamppost. Hello, stop. She's on her way to work. Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Hey! Okay, down. You told me the way to go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. Thanks for that. So what's next? Oh yes, I better put my work clothes on. All scrubbed and ready to go. Morning, nurse. Oh. You better take a look at these, Doctor Juno. I know there's quite a lot, but, you know. I, I, um, that's fine, thank you. Did you see what I just saw? I better sort these out, then. I forgot to give you these. Oh. The... Nurse Henry's wearing an earring. Do you think I should say anything? Hmm. Oops, one more file. Oh, I... Nurse Henry, your ear. <laughs> You've noticed it last. I'm wearing this because my friend is a jeweller and I wondered if you'd like to see some of the jewellery he makes. <sighs> I'd love to, but can you show me later on? No problem. Oh, and Nurse Henry, I don't think that earring's hospital regulation. Thank hmm. you. Oh, my Samson.
He always makes my face light up. The water coming out the lion's mouth and all the people and right up at the top that's Queen Victoria <laughs> and look at you Samson you're good as gold <laughs> Ah, Doctor Juno, you better sit down. I've got something rather important to show you. Oh? Should we go into my office, then? No need. Take a look at these. Remember I told you about my friend, the jeweller? Mm. Well, here are some pictures of his work. That's a necklace he made for his girlfriend. Oh, pretty. She's a lucky girl. And that's a pair of earrings he made for Tina when she played the genie of the ring in Aladdin. Oh, so intricate. Oh, and that's a brooch he made for his nan. Oh, now that is nice. So what do you think, then, eh? I think your friend is a very talented man. He makes excellent jewellery. But for now, we've got a lot of hard work to do. We'd better get on with it. It's time I got on with my work. It's so exciting in the hospital. It's where the people who are ill get well. Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill. I'm rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there to be here. Rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there. Oh yeah. I'll be there to comfort you at all times. I'll be there to see all is fine. I'll be there whenever I'm needed. Yeah. To hear the heart. You have a little emergency. Oh. I hope it's got nothing to do with jewellery again. <laughs> well, actually, it is. Oh, Dr Juno, thank goodness. <laughs> this is my little niece. Hello. She's a bit upset. Hey, what's the matter? It's her ring. Is it stuck on your finger? Oh. No, it's stuck on mine. <laughs> I just wanted to try it on. <laughs> Could you move your fingers for me, please? Good. Well, I presume you've tried taking it off with soap. Yes. Well, your fingers are a bit swollen. Could you get me an ice pack, please, Nurse Hendry? <laughs> I'm afraid we're going to have to cut it off, Tina. <gasps> the ring! <sighs> Nurse Hendry will do it. He's very good. And don't worry, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> Now that's all sorted out, I think I'll take a break. I wonder how my golden boy Samson's getting on. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. Whoop, look at this wee sparkly bouncy ball. <laughs> Ready? Ah, uh, woohoo! Come on, Samson! Samson! Drop it. Yeah, oops, here you are, my darling. Thank you for all. Good boy! No wonder Dr. Juno thinks you're the best dog in the world. Hi. Hello, Tina. How's the finger? Oh, it's fine. Nurse Hendry did a very good job. <laughs> the trouble is now that 
I can't get my niece out of hospital. Oh, why not? Her ring is broken. It was always so precious to her, and now I've ruined it. And she's in floods of tears, and I just don't know what to do. Don't worry, Tina. Just wait in the examination room, and I'll see what I can do. Dear, I've been working hard all day to help everyone. How did I end up with one very unhappy girl? Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, Samson and I arrived at Granny Murray's. Granny Murray and the children had been showing off with some baubles and trinkets from Granny Murray's box of treasures. They dressed Claude in all kinds of sparkly things. Granny Murray let me wear one of her precious necklaces, but I broke it. I felt awful, but Granny Murray told me not to worry. She said she could fix it back together. At eight o'clock, I arrived at the hospital. Nurse Hendry was wearing an earring. He told me a friend of his, who is a jeweler, had made the earring. At two o'clock, Nurse Hendry told me that there was someone waiting to see me in the examination room. It was Tina. She had tried on a ring belonging to her niece and she couldn't get it off her finger. I advised Nurse Hendry to cut carefully through the ring. At three o'clock, Tina came to say that her niece was very upset. The ring was precious to her and now it was broken. Now remember, what's broken can always be mended. What's broken can always be mended. Of course, the person who can mend the ring is Nurse Hendry's friend, the man who makes all the jewellery. I must pay him a visit. It's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Blow my hand. Ta da! Thank you. Oh, Dr. Juno, I knew you fixed people up and helped them to get better, but jewellery. It wasn't me, it was Nurse Hendry's friend, the jeweller. He's very good at fixing things. He made me these. What do you think? I think you're a pair of sparklers. <laughs> I wonder how my little sparkler's doing now. One to go. <laughs> there you are. Through you go. That's us, Samson. <laughs> What's broken can always be mended. Good as new. Dr. Juno will be pleased. And she'll be home to pick you up soon, my darling. <coughs> yes, she will. Samson, look who's here. Samson. Hello, Samson. Hey, good boy. Oh, look at that wagging tail. Samson wants to say thank you, Granny Murray, and thank you from me too. I remembered what you said. What's broken can always be mended. Save the day. Oh, gracious. Come on now, you'll want to be off. Come on, Samson. Bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, dancing, dancing, sharing, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things and rushing round, picking up and sitting down. <laughs> <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed in all his precious and sparkling finery because we were having a glittery day. It was so much fun seeing the children rummaging around in my box of treasure and pulling out all sorts of things. Dr Juno came by with Samson and we put on some sparkles ourselves. 
Dr. Juno broke my old necklace, but I didn't really mind. It could easily be fixed. After Dr. Juno left for work, I took Samson to the park. We saw a lovely fountain that sparkled and glistened in the light. Later on, I played a game with Samson. I threw a ball and he had to fetch it. After that, I came home and fixed the necklace that Dr. Juno had broken earlier on. And before long, I had it looking as good as new. Meanwhile, at work in the hospital, Dr. Juno remembered that what's broken can always be mended. And she helped a little girl by taking her ring to the jewellers. In the end, that looked as good as new as well. Am I nice and sparkly? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. I Call on Granny Marie. She'd love to see.